Hi guys, Jason here and welcome back to the 7th episode of my FIFA 17 Scaling Road to Glory. So we're going to get straight into the video today and the first question comes from Footwatch Football and he asked me, do you think it should be easier to qualify for foot champs and how did you learn all those amazing skills? So getting to the first part of the questions, no I don't think it should be easier to qualify for foot champs. And the main reason is, you know, foot champs is meant to be for, you know, the elite players, or not exactly the elite players, but, you know, people who are good at this game. And they can't really be, you know, um, making people, because, um, you know, if it was easy to qualify, everybody would do it. Everybody would have insane teams, because, you know, you get amazing rewards from, from foot champs. So, yeah, I don't think it should be easier to qualify. But I do understand for some people it must be very frustrating if they're not good enough, you know, to qualify. But all that you need to do is just keep playing and playing this game, and eventually you will improve and be able to qualify for foot champions so um, the second part of the question asks how did I learn all those amazing skills and basically all that I did I just practiced I watched a load of skill tutorials on YouTube if you type in FIFA 17 old skill move tutorials it will come up with like a tutorial and it shows you how to do every single skill move and I've been scaling now for probably a ra nearly two years now started the, at the back end of FIFA 15 so yeah, just keep trying and trying and trying and eventually you will get very good. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was the bronze pack method. And I asked you guys in the last video if you want me to show, um, if you want to see me, you know, opening my bronze packs. And most of you guys said no. So what I'm going to do now, all that I'm going to do is show you bronze packs, you know, if I get a, like a really good player, such as an informed man of the match, you know, pack a good bronze player, such as Emre Moore or Akin Fenwa. Otherwise, I'm not going to actually show you the pack, and I'll just show you me selling the players on. So if my coin balance does go up and down a lot, um, the probably the only reason that will be is, um, you know, from uh, the bronze pack method. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was SBCs again, and um, I will actually start be start to do the um, be start to doing the um, upgrade SBCs. So if you don't know what they are, you can like um, trade 11 bronze players for one silver two player gold player. Uh, pack and then you can um, I think it's you submit 11 silver players for one um, gold two players pack and as you know um, these two players packs are very good and for some reason I think you have better pack looking than for some reason and uh, as you see and um, that theory was proven when I actually went and packed Aguero very early on in this series with the two player pack so I will start spamming that very soon and um, you know it helps us to get players for things such as marquee matchups and it also you know helps us to bulk up our club and get a lot of players so that's very good so I'm now getting into future episodes. Um, these are a few of the stuff I'm going to be doing that I haven't actually done so far. So the first thing is the offline draft. Um, now the offline draft, not many people know this, but it's actually a very, very good way to make coins this year. On my main account, I've probably made, I'd say, 500k plus just from doing the offline draft. So we will start that very soon when we do get around 15,000 coins. Because you know, now I've got my two teams. I've got one fitness team. And then my main team. So when we get around that 15,000 coin mark, um, you know, I'm really not really going to upgrade my team now for probably a few more episodes, you know, maybe five to ten episodes. So meanwhile, we're going to try and spam a few offline foot drafts. I won't actually show the gameplay as well because, you know, that would just be extremely boring. So I'll just show you um, the match coins I get at the end of the match and then, of course, the pack rewards at the end. And, you know, I've packed really good players this year, such as I've got Inform Hummels. Um, you know, I've got really good players like that. I um, actually think, yeah, I got Inform Perisic as well in a foot draft, offline foot draft pack. So, yeah. So, the next thing I wanted to talk about was I will be doing a lot of trading. As with the aim of this series, I also want to try and get every 5-star skiller on this game except Pele. Because, you know, Pele is like 4 million coins. And there is basically no way we're going to be able to get all the skillers, um, you know, including Pele. But I definitely will try and get every single skiller on the game, whether it be their inform or their normal card, by the end of FIFA 17. So, we've got about 6 months to do it. And I do think it's very possible. I think we can definitely... Definitely 100% get all the skillers, maybe except Ronaldo and Pele, but I'll, be, but I'll you know, definitely be trying to get Pele, um, not Pele, Ronaldo as well. Um, I'm not looking to get, you know, his team of the year card, but, you know, maybe his normal card. I think it's around 1.5 million coins, so hopefully, 
you know, if we get a very good pack or we potentially could even pack him, that would be very good for the series. And the next thing is, um, after I said I wasn't going to do foot champs on the previous video, a lot of people in the comments section had mixed opinions and a lot of people were actually asking me just to do foot champions. Oh, not just to do foot champions, but to, you know, just try it out and see what happens. And the reason I said no originally was because, you know, the majority of people on my channel themselves are skillers and it's called Skilling Road to Glory. So, you know, it's meant to be about skilling and, you know, enjoyable rather than um, just trying to win matches, but I've decided that for one weekend and um, probably only one weekend I will do foot champs not gonna be this weekend because I haven't really got enough time this weekend You know, I've got a few things planned So yeah, definitely won't be this weekend and I definitely won't be able to play all the matches That's um, you know a given because it is just way too long 40 matches as I already talked about in the previous episode is just way too many matches so, um, yeah, I'll probably be aiming for maybe Bronze 3, what's 11 wins. So, yeah, I definitely think that's very possible to get. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, now we're getting on to a few more Bronze Packs. And this is actually the last time you will see me opening Bronze Packs. So, we actually start off very good there. We get a Squat Fitness, what actually sells for, I think it was 1,100 coins. So, that basically uh, enables us to open another... Um, four, uh, three bronze packs, you know, there are 400 coins each, and you are just guaranteed profit from doing the bronze pack, and if you haven't tried this method out, I would definitely recommend doing it, it is honestly one of the best, or if not the best, trading method on the game, and it's enjoyable as well, because you're opening packs, and you know, everybody loves to open packs, so now getting into this pack there, we don't really get anything that good um, in these packs, but we still get make profit, just because, you know, it contains, I think it's 11 or 12 items in the pack, and you can sell players for a minimum of 200 coins. So say if you get 5 players, sell them all for 200 coins, you know you've got yourself a nice um, uh, 40, uh, 1000 coins there. So yeah, you know, it's just an amazing trading method. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was uploads on my channel. So at the moment I am daily uploading or even double uploading what's very good for the channel. And as well as this, I do also want to continue to make player reviews. So as you know, I haven't actually made a player review now for, I think it's probably about two weeks. So you know, it's not very good. So um, the new team of the week has just been released and there is an 86 rated Inform Quadrado and his card looks amazing. He's already one of my favourite 5 star skillers, so I'll be definitely going to review him. So we can smash 20 likes on this video again, just like all the previous episodes of Scaling Road to Glory. I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, if you definitely do want to go and see it, try and smash 20 likes on the video. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'll probably have that uploaded on Sunday. But I will also continue uploading this daily for the next few days. You know, I'm on the grind at the moment, the YouTube grind. Um, it does like fill up a lot of my evenings doing this, you know, it takes like probably two hours to record it um, and then another few hours, maybe like an hour or so to edit. So probably about three hours of my evening every single day is being used to record this. So in any way guys, as you can see here, I'm just relisting a few items. This is the end of video. Thanks for watching and bye.